In this video, we will learn more about source directory structure of the Octo project. The source directory consists of numerous files, directories and subdirectories. Understanding their locations and content is key to using the Octo project effectively. If you see the Yocto project directory, it contains a lot of directories, or at least uh, some of the directories are Bitwig, Build, the documentation, and there are a few files here. Then you have Meta, Meta Pokey, Meta Self Test, Meta Skeleton, Meta Yocto BSP, and you have this OE init build environment script, and these are the readme files. Also, it has scripts. So these are different directories that a typical Yocto project has. And in this video, we will understand what each directory is about and what are its contents. Contents. Firstly, we will look at the top level components. The first directory that you will see is a Bitwake. This directory includes a copy of Bitwake for ease of use. The copy usually matches the current stable Bitwig release from the Bitwig project. Bitwig, a meta interpreter, reads the Yocto project metadata and runs the tasks defined by the by that data. The failures are usually caused by errors in your metadata and not from the Bitwig itself. So when you run the Bitwig command, the main Bitwig executable, which resides in the Bitwig bin directory, starts sourcing the environment setup script uh, that is OE in its build ANV script and places the scripts and and Bitwig bin directories in that order into the shell spot environment variable. So the Bitwig directory contains the complete uh, the whole directory of Bitwig. So if you see this is the Bitwig and then if you go to the bin this is where you have the Bitwig tool. Okay, and it, it has a lot of different files, but what we need to understand is Bitwig is a tool, or I would say an interpreter which understands the metadata and then it parses those metadata and schedules the tasks for you. So that's the, uh, we will learn more about Bitwig in the future. The next directory that we will see is a build directory. So this is the build directory here. And this directory contains user configuration files and the output generated by the open embedded build system in its standard configuration where the source tree is combined with the output. The build directory is created initially when you source the open embedded build environment setup script that is the, the oinit build environment it also possible to place output and configuration files in a directory separate from the source directory by providing a directory name when you source the uh, setup script so this is basically a, a directory where all of the build happens for you and then you will have all the downloads the configuration files the cache state cache and the temp temp is where the building happens and it will contain all the different things uh, the images and all of that stuff will be uh, present in your build directory so we'll look at the build directory in more detail in the uh, in the next uh, in the next episode the next directory is the documentation so this directory holds the source for the Octo project documentation as well as templates and tools that allow you to generate PDF and HTML version of the manuals. Each manual is contained in its own subfolder. So if we go to the documentation, you can see the development manuals here and the kernel, kernel development manual and it basically contains the documentation for everything if you see the toaster manual test manual you'll have the overview manual for your Octo project and the reference manual and also the sdk manual so such 
user manuals or the documentation would be present in this directory. The next directory which we will see is the meta directory. This contains the minimal underlying open embedded core metadata. The directory holds recipes, common classes and machine configuration for strictly emulated targets like KMU, x86, KMU ARM and so forth. So this directory called meta is the base of all the, the recipes, the kernel recipes for our Yocto build. So as you can see it contains the classes, the configuration and things like that. We will also see meta directory in detail in the future episode. The next is the meta pokey designed above the meta content. This directory adds just enough metadata to define pokey reference distribution. So it is something like you have this metadata and then the extend the open embedded core and then add a few more content to it to basically uh, define the pokey reference distribution for us. So if you go to the meta pokey you can see that it has a class configuration and the core recipes. So these core recipes basically uh, needed for the, the pokey reference distribution that the Yocto provides. Next is the meta Yocto BSP. This directory contains the Yocto project reference hardware board support packages. That's the BSP. If you, when you see the meta Yocto BSP, you can see that it has the kernel recipes, recipe kernel, the recipes for graphics and the recipe for BSP and some of the configurations and libraries. This configuration is basically to have, uh, to define the layers and then, and also the machine. So here the machines which it supports by default are the Yocto BeagleBone, the Edge Router, Generic x86, x86 x86-64. So this is the machine that it already supports and uh, which you can run when, when you compile or when you build your Ecto project for the Linux, Linux for these targets. And the recipe BSP contains uh, all the recipes that are needed to support those machines. Well, the meta self-test is our next directory. This directory adds additional recipes and append files used by open embedded self-test to verify the behavior of the build system. So you do not have to add this layer to your bblayers conf file unless you want to run self-tests. So this basically contains the recipes and append files for our testing. So if you want to test the uh, the Yocto project that you built, the Yocto build that you do, you can add this layer, the meta self test layer to your BB layers file and then include and then let let the uh, the bitpake test perform certain tests on uh, your Linux image. The next is the meta skeleton. So this directly contains template recipes for BSP and kernel development. So here you can see the meta skeleton. This contains, as it said, the recipes for the kernel and recipes for uh, the bare metal, that means your the, the hardware and configurations. Scripts directory contains various integration scripts that implement extra functionality in the Yocto project environment like QMU scripts. The open embedded init build environment script prepends this directory to the shell's path environment variable. 
So the, the, the scripts directory has a useful script that assist in contributing back to the Octo project such as create pull request and send pull requests. So this is something like when you want to contribute to the uh, Yocto project this will be more useful. So you can have uh, something like contribute the image manifest of course I've not done much here but let's explore once uh, we start doing something or giving back something to your project of course we'll do it in future but this is something which we also need to keep in mind and we have open embedded in it build environment this is the script you can see that here this is the shell script open it and show you so this is the script so this script sets up the open embedded build environment running the script with the source command in a shell makes changes to path and sets other core bitwake variables based on the current working directory you need to run an environment script setup script before running the bitwake command so this is the script the script uses other scripts within the scripts directory to do the bulk of the work so if you if you see that it is actually uh, refers or uh, it, it takes the it goes to the open embedded root that's the, the pokey directory and then under that you have scripts and then open embedded build environment internal and it 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 uses some of the scripts present there so that's the idea well when you first run the script your Yocto project environment is set up a build directory is created your working directory becomes the build directory and you are present with some simple suggestions as what to do next including a list of some possible targets to build so here is an example so I can open the terminal from here so if I do the source of the ON environment uh, build script or the, the init script so you can see that it sets the, the, the common targets are core image minimal the full command image set of course we will deal or we will understand what these target images are in the future you can also generate the Kimi images with the linux command like kmu run kmu and kmx86 and stuff like that well so that's the use of the script and you can also see that we were under pokey and then once after running the script we came to build that means the, the build is our current working directory the present working directory so by default running the script without a build directory argument creates the build directory in your current working directory if you provide a build directory argument when you source the script you direct the open number at build system to create a build directory of your choice for example the following command creates a build directory named my build my builds that is outside the source directory so if you give something like this oh, of course i need to come out i'll come back cd dot dot and then if i paste this so you're going to source the open embedded init build environment script with this my build directories under my home directory and let's see what happens you can see that the directory got changed to this one and you can see it it gives some information had 
uh, some information about some files which are not found because uh, in the previous case I already had this build directory in my uh, work environment or this pokey now it when I run the second time with the, the my my builds as the directory as a build so it didn't have some of the files and it created so that's the that is how that's why we see this extra output and if I go to the my home directory here it actually created the my builds directory and then it contains the configurations and then if you want to build I can update the local conf here and then do the build okay so here the open embedded build system does not support file or directory names that contain spaces so when you give this directory name we have to make sure that it doesn't contain spaces in between then the other files are license readme and readme.hardware so these will the standard standard top level files So if I see the pokey, you can see that uh, these are the standard license files and the the hardware.md, the readme.hardware, there's the readme open embedded core dot. So these are the some of the readme files which helps us to understand the Yocto project and how to use Yocto project. Okay, I'm coming out of my builds and then go back to the pokey well now we saw the general or the top level directories now so in in future we will go a little bit deeper to understand how what are the contents of different directories of course we'll not see all of it but we'll see some of the important uh, directories like build and then uh, the meta and then meta pokey some of these directories we will understand in detail well so that's it for this video or this episode thanks for watching if this video helped you in learning please like the video and subscribe to the channel also share with anyone who is interested to learn more about embedded linux and internet of things leave a comment below for any feedback or discussion